Hey, this is Craig, and we're taking a look at the LG Spectrum 2. The Spectrum 2 is the US version of the Optimus LTE 2, which was released in Korea earlier this year. LG and Verizon did make some changes to the device before releasing it in the US, but overall it's fairly similar. Uh, they did get rid of the home button, which is a slight bummer, but the design is still mostly what you'd expect from LG. It's got the sharp squared corners as well as the textured backing. The Spectrum 2 has a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor that's clocked at 1.5 GHz and it comes with 1 GB of RAM as well as 16 gigs of internal storage with room for a micro SD card. The display measures 4.7 inches and has a resolution of 1280 by 720 which results in a pixel density of 312 pixels per inch. It looks really nice and the colors are rather superb. Um, small text and icons show up clear and images are very sharp. Design wise the Spectrum 2 is a beast. Uh, the large 4.7 inch screen has mostly to do with it but the device is also kind of thick. It's only 9.2 millimeters which is just slightly thicker than the Samsung Galaxy S3. But the size of the device gives you the illusion that it's much thicker. Folks with larger hands uh, most likely won't have a problem with the size. Plus, 4.5 inches and larger is becoming the norm for smartphones nowadays, so I can't really complain about that. Uh, the phone does have NFC and wireless charging capabilities, which is something you don't see every day on a mid-range device, so that's kind of nice. On the software end, the Spectrum 2 runs Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. It's certainly nothing that we haven't seen before. LG's Optimus UI runs on top of Android, uh, but it doesn't get in too much in the way when it comes to experiencing a true Android interface. Performance-wise, everything's really snappy and smooth. There was a little stuttering when browsing the web in Chrome, but it was really nothing too significant. The benchmarks definitely proved the Spectrum 2's power. It scored just over 7100 in Antutu, edging out the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy Nexus, and it scored a 5200 in Quadrant, uh, beating out the HTC One X and nearly doubling the performance of the Galaxy Nexus. The Spectrum 2's camera is pretty decent. It takes great outdoor photos as well as good outdoor videos, uh, which can shoot up to 1080p. While low light conditions were the enemy of the camera sensor, it also has a hard time getting the color balance right during low light situations. Uh, while we can forgive a little bit of ISO noise in a photo, the same can't really be said with color and white balance issues. Regardless, there's plenty of settings and presets that you can mess around with, including exposure and ISO, but one thing that I couldn't bear was that there was no shutter animation, meaning that I had no idea if the picture had been snapped or not. It may be something that won't bother everyone, but it certainly bothered me. The battery is rated at 2150 milliamp hours, which is fairly respectable. I ended up going well over 24 hours on a full charge with moderate to heavy usage. While the battery doesn't stand much of a chance with extremely heavy usage, you'll definitely be able to get over a full day out of the device with light to moderate usage, very possibly even two days if you stretch it. Overall, the LG Spectrum 2 is a powerhouse of a handset. It's only classified as a mid-range device, but it has the performance of a top-tier smartphone. And at $100, the Spectrum 2 is a bargain, but not during the holidays. The phone is in a tough spot right now, uh, considering that you can grab a Samsung Galaxy S3 for next to nothing during the holiday season. Uh, the Spectrum 2 is a great phone, though. There's no doubt about that but it isn't that great of a deal considering the circumstances right now with the competition. Unless of course it goes on sale, but if not, I'd recommend looking elsewhere if you're planning on buying a new phone this holiday season.